I am Stephanie and today I'm making a YouTube collaboration with two other artists on YouTube, The Art Sherpa and Angela Anderson. We are doing this for Earth Day, which is today, and the theme we are working on is jungle, so I'm going to make a few tropical plants. And we are starting with anthuriums. I decided to make them orange with uh, pink pistols, but that is really up to you if you want to choose another color. So I used a round cutter to help me shape the basic leaf. And now I'm using a metal embossing tool to shape everything round and I push everything down. I push the edges down to, to flatten everything a bit since it's going to be a leaf. It needs to have some texture or some, not some texture, but some thickness, otherwise you're not going to be able to sculpt the ridges, which I am making now. Also, since it's Earth Day, I thought it might be good to talk a bit about climate change and charities. And so if you are interested in, in the topic and what you can do on a regular basis, I've wrote a blog post about it. As you, if you've been following my work for a while, I tend to talk about about those issues, about environmental issues a lot. And I think it is one of the biggest issues we are facing as humanity right now. I know it's not something everyone wants to hear all the time, but it's just there. So I will not stop talking about it since the problem will not stop existing. So if, if you're interested, if you have some interest, I, I very much invite you to check out my blog post. And I also linked down below to a charity, um, Rainforest for Action. I checked if the charity was good. I linked to them before, especially when I did work on my Indonesian deforestation artwork. So not a new charity, but yeah. It's Earth Day, and I know people tend to be a little bit more um, giving on such days. <laughs> so that's why I thought, hey, I'm, I'm giving that charity a shout out. Anyway, so back to Anthurium. Um, so I sculpted, the, I sculpted the whole petal or leaf. I basically embossed it with various metal tools and ball ender tools. I added a pink pistol that I textured with sandpaper. And now I'm adding some red paint. So the edge stands out a little bit more. And also just to give it some more shade and a bit more interest, I'm adding some green pastel. So you have um, a, can a bit of gradient colors, which always look a little bit more realistic than that if you than if you have just one color. And lastly, I'm I made five, so you can make as much as you want, and I simply put them together so they are looking nicely in a bunch, mm. and just pushing the clay down so everything sticks nicely together. And now I am working on Heliconia, I think. Yeah. So for that one, I started with the Skinner blend technique. Now, this time I didn't make a straight line because pink is a very strong color. And so to have a nice gradient from pink to white, you need to make that helicoidal shape so it mixes more evenly. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of pink and not so much of the pale pink you want in between. And I'm rolling it through a pasta maker and here I'm just making a rolling everything up and pushing it together. So I have a smaller wide because I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use these for the petals. So I, I want a really small wide for that. And I'm just going through as many times as I need to have a nice gradient from pink to white. And here I'm going to start cutting out the leaves. So I'm making teardrops using an X-Acto knife. And I'm pushing all sides down with my fingers and smoothing everything out. 
And then I'm simply folding it in two and pinching one end. And I'm basically reproducing that process about seven, nine times. So yeah, I'm simply cutting everything at once. It doesn't matter if the leaves or petals are not exactly the same size and shape. As in nature, it's not always exactly the same either. And here, as you see, this is how I'm putting and assembling all the petals together. And just adding one by one over and over. So folding, pinching, or cutting, flattening out, folding, pinching. And you just go on and on. So as I said in my introduction, this is a collaboration with two other artists on YouTube. So Angela reached out to me a month or so ago for a possible art collaboration and I was, I was game. <laughs> and she mentioned then the first theme, which was going to be Jungle on Earth Day. And so I was really excited, as you know, I really... It's, it's a theme that is very dear to my heart to work on plants and climate change. So I was really happy about that. Um, and I really invite you to check out their websites, their YouTube channel. So I'm going to link them below in the description box. And if I don't forget, I'm going to add a comment in the comment section, as I know many of you don't always read the description box. <laughs> And here I made a few aliconias and after baking I'm adding some red paint on the edges. I went with red because that seems to work the best and I'm working on a pink, pink orange theme on one of my artwork right now so I didn't want to use other colors. And finally I'm actually making a leaf typical leaves you can find in the tropics. So I'm making a philodendron but in pink because again as I said I'm working on a pink orange theme on that particular artwork. However the technique is exactly the same if you want to make it more realistic you just I'm just going to use a dark green shade. So it's a bit similar to the first one I made, the Anthorium, as in you first start to shape a basic leaf using a round cutter. But this time, and you flatten all the edges of course, but this time you are going to cut out some holes in the leaf. Like so. You can add a bit more interest if you want and, and cut out a few... Um, I, I simply cut out simple shapes. But you can cut out a bit more complex shapes. Uh, I cannot stress that enough in my videos, but reference pictures will really help you out to make the best choices for the result you want. And also for the size you're working on or the medium you are working with. And now I'm using a silicone tool to smooth out all the edges and also to give the leaf some kind of texture. Silicone tools are really, um, really useful for that kind of work. They're also sometimes called silicone shapers. And if you are wondering all about all my tools, I'm, I'm also linking, I've made a video about all my tools and it's a lot more handy than going over every tools every time. So I invite you to check out that particular video. I'm going to link it down below as well. And then gently removing them with a blade. Be careful not to tear them apart. And I'm simply putting them all together to make a bunch and to bake them. After baking, I'm highlighting the veins with some white acrylic paint. 
So I use a rather thin brush for that. And then I'm adding some pink acrylic paint to add some interest to the rest of the leaf. And that's pretty much it. I really hope you enjoyed this video, that you find it useful and entertaining. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up, maybe comment and share, or even support my work over on Patreon. Don't forget to check out The Art Shepherd and Angela Anderson, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!